Welcome, y'all. Welcome to Junk to Jim's Homestead. Homestead. Oh, and we ain't said it in a while, so I'm gonna say it. Welcome, y'all, youns, guys, gals, <laughs> youths, youths, <laughs> folks. <laughs> All right. Everyone. So, yes. Anyway, y'all, we, as you can see, look. We like that that view back there, and look what's. Parked right behind us. The very, right behind the, us. The very first time we were able to get a parking, we can park on our own property for a change. Oh yeah. Instead of in the road. Yeah. Which is very cool to us. Yes, it is. It's awesome. And that view behind us. Yeah. Behind you, y'all. Sorry. Not behind <laughs> us. Behind us. Yeah. <laughs> and the but view behind yeah. you is that way is. It's even looking better. Probably gonna give you a little sneak peek of that towards the end of this chat here. Oh yeah, um, just a little sneak peek. Yeah, because the video will be coming out in the next mm -hmm. day or two, but exactly. Um, we want to give you a little sneak peek so you can kind of get an idea of what you're gonna be looking at. Um, here in a few minutes, uh, we got Randall over here with today with Gypsy Trails. Yeah. He's been helping us out a bunch. Yes. Yeah. If you haven't uh, went in and subscribed, checked his channel out. That oh, would be yeah. very awesome of y'all. Because he's been he's been helping us a lot, and he's gonna have some cool content coming out here real soon. Um, he does his shorts. Got got a little gypsy right around here somewhere. She's back here chewing on a bone. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, Mike tonight. Just so you know, Mike asked us. Uh, Mike and Lissa over at DD Five. A big and, shout out. Yep. Uh, they asked us today if we would uh, let everybody know that they are not gonna be going live tonight. Today is Friday, and they're not gonna be going live tonight. They're actually gonna be doing a premiere tonight on their dog fence. Ooh. So yeah, y'all gotta go check that out. And it's a nice dog fence. Yeah. One of the better ones I've seen. And made all from his own property, except the fence part. I mean, uh, the fence and the, the nails, I mean, but other than that, yeah, he's, all that lumber, all that stuff came from their own property. And yeah. it's, he did good with it, I'm impressed. I'll be surprised. You're all gonna love it. That's really yep. cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't give you too many beans no, on it, but no. you're just gonna love it. You gotta go see it. You have to go check that out at six o'clock tonight. Yep, six p.m. Central, Central time. time. Um, so y'all go check them out over there at the Drifting Dreamers Five. Yeah. Um, they are gonna be doing that whole premiere. So you know, instead of their normal live, they're just gonna be doing the premiere. Um, and then uh, what else we got? Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. Just crazy. We're, yeah, we'll have another video out. Uh, uh, before the land one or the property one, okay. we'll have a video out before that. Then we'll have that one. Then hey, you <laughs> never you never know. You never know with us. We yeah, probably have yeah. some some different. I don't know. We got yeah, we got videos and videos to come, y'all. Plus, we had a uh, another guest yesterday, uh, Rocker and Jay. Um, Scott showed up and hung out with us last night for a little while and he was very cool so he's gonna be moving to Arkansas he found himself some uh, some really cool property just a couple hours north of here mm -hmm. um, he's got 37 acres up there some uh, some rolling rock uh, some ponds and and the whole nine yards one is spring fed that uh, you know that rolls down over some rocks and stuff so that's very cool looking yeah he's uh, ready to relax and yep Really cool Calm guy. Down. Yeah, he really is. Time to get out of Joyzy, he said. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, and he's making a, a channel, so uh, he's working on that. And I can't remember the name of the channel, but uh, it's Rocker. Rocker NJ or Rockers NJ. Rocker something. We'll have to figure that one out. But we'll we we'll put a tag in here for you for it uh, yeah. uh, tomorrow um, for the other video. We'll we'll shoot uh, get him a shout out there. Um, but yeah, he was a really cool guy. We really enjoyed our time last night hanging out and chatting with him. We chatted for what two or three hours at least. Yeah, we, yeah. It, it was a while. Yeah, we had a good uh, visit. He brought Miley a cool little unicorn and horse and doll and oh uh, stuff. God. Yeah, yeah that was and she was having a blast with yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, she was having a heyday with those things. And uh, see, now we're out here burning, trying to get some of this stuff burnt down. We got our burn barrel cut open already and. Right, uh, got us yeah, going right, on a little fire right going behind on. you, don't you see it? It's right behind you. <laughs> yeah, turn around, just turn, just around, turn look. around, look. <laughs> I know, every one of y'all probably went like this at first, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it 
Wait a minute, they, 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 how can they see that? I can't see that back there. <laughs> hey, Gary, remember when we, were, when you were, we were talking about who's on first, like who's living at whose house? Right, oh, well, yeah. You should give them a little <laughs> shot of that. So here's a little funny we, we were thinking about the other day, y'all. Uh, if you think about this, okay, so it's going to start off with Drew is living at Lindsay's. We are living at Drew's. Jeff is living at... Peters. At Peters, Old Man King Homestead. Jeff from Bobbleheads living at Peters. Um, the Wileys were living at Jeff's. <laughs> and I'm living at yours. And yeah, and Randall's living on ours. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go home! <laughs> kind of reminds you of the, uh, was it Duck Duck Gray Duck? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. <laughs> But hey. Nobody's living on their own property yet. What's up? Except for uh, David and Mike and and uh, Mama V. Mama V. Yeah. SLR. <laughs> Tim. SLR and Tim. Yeah. SLR and Anthony uh -huh. and Rox. Yep. Yep, that's true. Yeah. It's been pretty neat. Just it kind really of funny is. how everybody's living at somebody else's house right now, <laughs> trying to get their house going. <laughs> uh, it is a hoot. But yeah, we're gonna give you that little sneak peek. I hope you enjoyed the video yesterday. Yeah. Uh, of what we did. Yep, and there's yeah. And man, we got to get a machine in here, y'all. We got to get know. the we got to get the a tracko in here, yeah. The tractor. Right? We got to get the tractor. We got here. our tractor in here, and then we got to get a machine in here to dig up all these stumps because there are just um, these crazy trees right here. Then they just like grow roots up, and then they'll pop up another tree, and they're just stumps everywhere up in front of yeah. the barn that we're. I don't think I'm gonna get them out any other way other than just. Yeah. Uh, uh, getting a trico and digging yeah. a big hole back oh, back there and then just filling it in and packing it down and getting some right dirt on there mm -hmm. um, Otherwise, it's just yeah, it's gonna be a mess And that's right in front of the barn. Yeah, right where we got to get the, the camper in there So that's that they basically they have to go somehow mm -hmm. um, And I don't see any way of cutting them out of the ground uh, low enough to be able to Slide the camper through there without doing some kind of damage to it. So I wonder yeah. if a stump grinder, what do you think, do you think a stump, stump grinder would work? Um, only to a point, just because they're all interconnected through there. So yeah. um, if I don't get them out, then they're just going to keep growing, trying to grow back up. Yeah. True that. Yeah. And they're healthy. Yep. Yes, they are. They're very, very healthy. So I guess it's time for me to find some more work so we can uh, save up some money so we can rent the machine. Mm -hmm. uh, we found out it's only $1,000 for a week, and I figure a week with a mini track hoe, mm -hmm. um, I can get a lot of these stumps out of it. In fact, I can get all of these stumps out of here in a week. Well, we got some more stuff that and, we uh, need to go down there, Mina and stuff like that. Yeah, and so, that yeah, we got stuff that, that to take care of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got to get some, get some more going here so we can make that happen. Because like I said, that machine's, you know, it's only 1000 bucks for a week, but it, it's We can a, do a lot with that. Yeah. With my operating skills, yeah, we can do a, a whole lot with that for a week, yeah, for sure. I, yeah, and I was an operator for at least a decade. Was you? Yep. Oh, cool. Oh, there you go. Oh. And, uh, on. and the tow truck is getting real close, y'all. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, get that tow truck out here, and we can be able to do some stuff. That would be... Yeah, I want to get that uh, uh, bush hog over here yep. and get all of that done. Oh, that bush hog will be able to go through this all these of that yeah. nasty weeds and grass mm -hmm. and everything real easy. Yeah. No, I just didn't get this go in there and get the the limbs and yep. stuff and like that. On one of them DRs, that's about DR. If you're listening, <laughs> we'd like to check out one of your one of your uh, trimmers there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, those are you know what I'm talking about those DR trimmers, yep. man. Oh yeah. Those would probably go through a lot of that small trees right there without a problem. Mm-hmm. But they're they're really it's really nice. It's yeah. looking nice, y'all. Very nice. Yeah. And we're almost I mean, like we said, if we can get that bush hog, that would actually make a lot of progress right there. We will see a lot what we have to do. Yeah, because I can go around a lot of them little trees in there and just start getting that brush stuff exactly. down. Exactly, then figure out if what, what, we need, who, what we need to take down yeah. and everything else. What trees got to go, what trees don't got to go. Exactly, which ones we can save a little bit. But at least sitting here, we can see the barn. Oh, yeah, And we, we can. can almost see the shop way over there. <laughs> Almost. You, you can yep. also see where your your drive is going to be. Yep. Yes. Yeah, the drive is starting to take shape a little bit now. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. You guys are going to really be impressed with this. Where their land is at, where their where their house and the uh, the barn and everything's at, it's it's, it's almost perfect, and they're going to really be able to carve it in and mm -hmm. park it out. It's beautiful. It really is. I think it's going to turn out really, really nice. Got some real nice trees out here that we can. Some of these we're just going to save, and we're just going to you know trim them up and and give them a haircut, so to speak. Exactly. We're going to trim them up. <laughs> yeah, because we still want to keep some of our privacy, but yet we still want to be able to you know have some grass and mow and stuff like that, you know, and, and make it really sweet. So, nope, nope. Oh, we got some branches just fell out of the burn barrel. Uh, all right, y'all keep chatting for a minute. Oh, you got it good? Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, just in case. Did you see that uh, skull that you get? Right, right. Yeah, just got the skull over here, trying to chew all up on it. Found a, a little carcass skull out here somewhere. That's, that's, that's a that's the nature you probably would find something in those terms beautiful day today right mary oh my god a beautiful day really it's actually not it's not really breezy but there is a breeze yeah. and it's really nice just a really light breeze yeah and it's not cold yeah temperatures just what right. 60 60 some degrees probably i think low 60s it's like perfect working weather it really is let's see what it says Oh. We're gonna we're gonna look it up and be professional. See, <laughs> you mean we got the world's largest library in our pocket? We're right. <laughs> Just ask Google. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty-two degrees, beautiful. So we do have some rain coming tomorrow. Oh, she's getting. Says so about a fifty percent chance. So we are going to be working on the barn tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, actually, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna be videoing that here in just a little bit of us measuring it out and. And uh, figuring out what we got to do, and uh, showing you what kind of a mess is. You know, you've probably seen it in one of the other videos, but um, you'll be able to see today how it's how it's looking back there. Uh, I've already well, I've already worked on it. I've already started working on it. Oh. <laughs> well, you won't see it today, but no. you'll see it in the video coming up. But anyway, you will. We're gonna be recording that part today. Um, yeah, some today and some tomorrow. Yep. So. so we went and got us some snake repellent. So uh, yeah, at least to get, see, make sure that there's none that's yeah. gonna come up here. Woo! So they ain't hiding off in the barn somewhere, and you know we don't want that. We, don't, we need to know some surprises from the danger noodles. <laughs> yeah, um, that wouldn't be. Okay. So far, we haven't seen any out here, but no. Um, probably because there is nothing, no food around here. You know, coyotes are taking up all the small critters, so the snakes are probably just probably way down there in the back forty, I think. Uh, you know, hiding mm -hmm. out because, like I said, we haven't seen any rats or mice or anything like that around here. No rabbits, no, no. nothing. So I mean, we seen one rabbit that one day we came up here. But he wasn't he way down there. But that was way down there. Yeah, way down at the other end of our property. Yeah. Yeah, and I saw one possum. A one yeah. possum. One okay. Possum. Okay. So that's really nothing they can eat. They're looking for the smaller critters. So. Yeah, those possums are good for your property too. So. Yeah, they keep all the shrubs and all that, all that kind of what they call them. Uh, uh, they're they're good to a point because they'll eat just about anything. You know, yeah. they eat the trash and everything. That's the only bad thing is if you have trash sitting out, they will get into it, scattered everywhere like a raccoon. Mm -hmm. But like I said, we, there's no real no food around here for snakes that we've seen so far, so that we probably won't get too many. But we just wanted to take a little extra precaution in case uh, they do decide to go in that barn that is and, uh, and try to warm up or cool off or whatever. We want to just. Uh, solve that problem prior to it because um, these little granules you know they're they're harmless to dogs and animals so you know and they're just little granules and you just sprinkle them around the edges of the barn like up underneath stuff and that just keeps them out of there uh, they just don't like the smell of it is all it is <laughs> so uh that's uh that's one thing on the agenda mm -hmm. Um, so we're getting about uh, 14 minutes right now. So guess what, guys? It's, it's time. time for that sneak -a uh, I'm gonna stand you up here. Let's see if we don't give you too much sneak peek. I'm gonna really try. Will. I'm gonna <laughs> try my best not to, y'all. <laughs> but you know, I am the bean spiller. <laughs> yes, he so here we go. Da -da -da -da. Go slow. So this right back there behind me, that's uh, the drive entrance. Burn barrel. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Ready? Ready? Can you see the barn? Look. See the barn Can back there? Can you see the barn? Look at that. 
The barn. We found the barn. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the other building right back there. You can see that's going to be the shop. So that'll kind of give you, I'm going to walk you back here real quick just to kind of give you a reference as to where we're at. So you can see where we're sitting right there. And you can see the car. And like I say, you can see so that it kind of goes around like that. And we'll circle around that way and then go around them trees and come into the barn for our entrance. And, uh, and then, of course, we got that behind us, that beautiful view behind us, which you can't really see for some reason. I don't know why it's not letting... It's just too light, I guess. But I don't know. Maybe it's too far away. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not a camera guy, y'all. <laughs> so anyway... Um, Y'all go check out DD5 over there uh, tonight. Let me see if I can get everybody back in the camera again. And uh, yeah, for their premiere tonight, because that's going to be, you know, that's going to be good. And then uh, don't forget to go over there and check out Gypsy Trails. Yes. And uh, Rocker NJ. And just be watching out for those videos. Yeah. They'll be coming. Yeah, she's got a, she's got a few in the works right now, so mm -hmm. we're going to be getting that soon. So until next time we see y'all, y'all be good. Go like. love somebody. Show them some love somewhere in the world. Like, subscribe, share, and what? Have a good day. That's it. And a good weekend. Yes, and a good weekend. It is Friday. Friday! <laughs> see you next time, y'all. Bye.